morning guys so oh my god it's really bright outside i can barely see but it is wednesday june 13th and it's around like 10 50 a.m um gretchen and i decided to sleep in a little bit today just because we've been getting back so late and like so busy and so tired from like running around and doing everything these past couple of days and it's been so much fun so we were just like okay we need to like let ourselves rest and sleep in a little bit because last night and the night before both of us were sta we stayed up really really late until like 3 30 o'clock 3 30 o'clock <laughs> see how tired i am until like three in the morning because we were like trying to um get all of our like videos edited and up and everything like that just to like keep you guys updated because we know that you guys have been waiting to see all of our vlogs and stuff so we like wanted to make that a priority so we stayed up a little bit later but then it's okay because we got to sleep in today which was really nice and Gretchen's still like laying in bed right now but I like actually got up and got ready and I'm gonna go grab a coffee just down at the little like main building place um, where we're staying at our hotel but today I'm wearing this free people little bralette top I'll have everything linked down below that I'm wearing like always and I'm also wearing this Zara skirt which is really cute I just got it and it has like a little ruffle on the bottom I don't know if you can see and I'm wearing my Gucci slides but I got this skirt from Zara yesterday and you guys will see it in my Italy haul I'm gonna include it in that video so yeah, like I was saying, I'm just going to get a little coffee. I have this little pool at our hotel, and I wanna go down here into like the coffee bar, but I don't know how to get down there, and I just walked up to the main building, and I think I have to walk all the way back around to get there, which I guess is okay. Look who's finally awake. <laughs> Good morning. And we just took the shuttle into Florence, well, we're staying in Florence, but like right outside of the actual city, like on the outskirts. So we have to take a little shuttle. So that is exactly what we did this morning. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, we just took the shuttle into Florence. Now we have a little bit of a walk, but it's okay. It's so nice out today. Finally, there's like a little like breeze, you know? And it's yeah, not humid. It's not like long. it's not humid at all. I'm not even sweating. And my hair just feels really nice. And. I don't know, we're gonna have a great day. Yeah. We have a free day in Florence. I don't know if I said that to you guys before. That's why we slept in a little bit because we knew that we had a free day. So we like stayed up for a little and like did a bunch of work and stuff and then slept in. Now we're gonna go get a very healthy breakfast, spend the day here and then we came in breakfast a little bit lunch. later as well. <laughs> yeah, breakfast, lunch. So we came in a little bit later because we wanna be able to stay later and then have dinner here yeah. and not be like burnt out and tired by the end of the day. I love how they have cute like stands that you just walk up to on the side of the road here, like a little snack bar. That's so cute. You can, you can just like stand outside and eat your gelato, and, like grab a coffee or whatever. Another thing that I think is really cool um, that people do here is that you get a coffee and then you don't like take it to go, like I was saying earlier, but I think it's so cool that um, they also just stand at the counters and drink it. I like love that. And today I got a coffee to go and I drank it out of the cardboard cup that they gave me. And I was like, no wonder the people in Italy don't like drinking out of these cardboard cups because it like made my coffee taste weird. And I feel like coffee just tastes so much better when it's in like a glass mug or like a glass cup. I don't know if I'm weird, but I just like love coffee and I feel like it actually does taste so much better when you taste it, when you drink it out of like a normal mug. Gretchen and I are at our favorite place. Which is where we you guys know we were obsessed with Shake yesterday. Wait, why is there this side? Shake away. Oh, that one's like, you oh, take it away. There's okay. takeaway and then we can actually eat there. So this is where we were yesterday. You would have seen me in yesterday's vlog. If you didn't see yesterday's vlog, I will have it linked down below for you guys. Today I got the vegan wrap and then I also got this little juice and it is turmeric, cayenne, ginger, lemon, and apple. And it's so good and refreshing. Like this is exactly what I needed. And then Gretchen and I are gonna share like the wrap and the salad and we got a tofu salad and it has like a bunch of fresh veggies and then like a miso sesame dressing. It smells really good. And then she also got a chocolate croissant which looks amazing. Like look at that. I know. Oh my god, that looks so good. I've never had a chocolate croissant. Thank you. We just got to Zara and I'm in the fitting room and this Zara, like I was telling you guys yesterday, is so big. It's like literally three floors and that's where I got um, this skirt 
yesterday, but I have all these clothes that I'm gonna try on and I'm gonna show you guys because I found the cutest stuff. Like, this stuff is so my vibe. And I feel like lately I've been, like, struggling to find stuff to wear during the summer just because I don't have a lot of things that I really like that much. And I th think that these are the coolest sneakers ever. But sorry about this noise. There's, like, a big vent on the ceiling. But I just thought that this dressing room was so big. And I think Gretchen might come in here with me. I'm gonna text her right now. Um, but... So I'm gonna try all these stuff on and show you guys like what I like and stuff and a few pieces that are really cute and yeah. Okay, so this is one of the dresses that I really like and it's like a bodycon midi dress but it's so big on me because I got the size too big and there's no smaller sizes other than this one. So I'm probably just not gonna get it. And then I also tried on this shirt right here and it's so cute. So I think I'm gonna get that and then I'm gonna get this romper. All this stuff is a no. I might get this because I feel like it's cute like to wear out to dinner if I'm like with Tyler's parents. Because I have a lot of like cute tops but they're really cropped and I need to like start getting stuff that's like classy that I can wear like around adults and all this stuff is a no. Guys, I am so obsessed with this too. I knew I would be. Wait, why didn't this just make like a ring when I turn it on? Oh my this is Maggie's vlog. Hey Maggie's vlog. I hope this is my vlog camera. Okay, I might as well take this moment to say um, thanks for watching Maggie. And we love you. And she loves you. And I love her. And Italy's amazing. And Maggie, when you're watching this, I love you so much. I wouldn't want to be here with anyone else for having so much fun. And I can't wait to look back at these memories when we're like 80. And we'll have all these vlogs to look at. That's like my favorite thing about vlogging. Is being able to look back at memories and just capturing fun moments. Like right now, we're just having some fun in our free day in Florence. Um, but yeah, okay, bye guys. <laughs> Successful Zara trip. We've got so much pizza up, I'm obsessed with the Zara here. And for some reason, I never have good luck at the Zara at home, but for some reason here, like I can find oh, such cute stuff. And oh, also we met a subscriber yesterday in Zara. We also met another girl when we were eating at Shake and she was so nice. Um, and we met her friend, it was her friend's birthday today. Where should we go now? Gretchen has to head to the bathroom. It's so, Vestito Pantalone. <laughs> uh, I don't know, but I have to pee. We both have to go to the bathroom, so we're gonna try to find a bathroom now and just walk around. It's like a really chill day. I really like being so relaxed and stuff here, not having to like be on a tight schedule. I just feel like we have so much more time to like explore and enjoy things and like go shopping and stuff. Should we get Guys, a drink? this is my favorite drink ever right now. There's a buffet. Oh, eight euros and a buffet. So Gretchen and I just got drinks and I got a spritz, which is literally gone now. It was so good. I can kind of still taste it on the bottom, but they're literally so good. And I don't know if we have them in the States. Well, I mean, like I've we do have them, but I've never like heard of it. It's not like a common drink that people get when they go out, which I wish it was because it's so good. But I feel like it's kind of an acquired taste. Like Gretchen hates them. Like she doesn't like them at all. They have a really bitter aftertaste. And that's, that's what, what I, I like. like. I don't like sweet drinks. And she like loves like Moscato and she loves like sangria. Like and Prosecco is like the least sweet I can go. <laughs> yeah, so sweet. I know. <laughs> but um, they, they're literally my favorite in the whole entire world. But more people need to start like making them in Boston, like where we're from. Or I need to just like create it on my own at home. But I wish that that like more places had them on the Cape because I used to work at a place called La Fawcett. It's like a resort on the Cape and I feel like this drink would be so popular there because people come from all over and like a lot of people are foreign and do come from Europe and I feel like if they had like an April spritz people would be obsessed with it. But yeah, it just started raining now. Can we tell you guys how open sea? How they have a what? How they have open core, or did you already tell them? Oh, I didn't tell them. Like, you can walk around. I could literally get this to go and, like, walk around with it. No, I mean, like, that's, like, there's no open container lock. What is open core? open core was what, um, I was about to call him Biago. <laughs> Tyson. Tyson told us that, like, like, so this, there's not vodka in it. Okay, there's gin, right? Yeah. So, like, oh, instead of, like, in America, open they'll core. usually measure it out, or, like, they know because they've done it so much, but here they'll just be like, la, 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 la. And so usually he's, like, when you get like four or five drinks in America, here, that is you could literally get, get like two. And like my mom's family mule, he was like pouring and pouring and pouring about. Yeah, we were like, looking, we were like, what? Yeah, I would say but, like two drinks is really one drink here. Yeah. 
Now we're looking at the dessert menu and we just noticed, like I always forget, they don't give you a check here. Like yeah, unless you, you ask, ask for one. So this is where we are. Actually, this is good that I like see the name. It's called, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it, but Jubby it's Rose. on the <laughs> other side of the carousel that we were at yesterday. And now we're directly like diagonal and we're here getting our little drinks. And so they don't have cannolis or anything. So I think we're gonna leave and go somewhere else. But we need to ask for the check. In Italy, they don't bring it over to you. They want you to like to sit here and chill. Like everybody in here, like these ladies have been here for so long. Everybody else has just been like sitting and they have really long lunches, which I think is really, really cool. And we just came to the brandy and I feel like Emma would love this sweatshirt. The girls at Emma said that there's like different stuff here than the ones at home. Like Emma would totally wear this. It just looks super soft. I think it's so funny having like, all the stuff like California. California. I mean, we're like not even in the States. <laughs> We finally found the crates that we have been looking for and we like put it into our phone. I just like had a hiccup. Um, we put it into our phone like the crate place and it was called the crate free and we were so excited. We were like running down the street <laughs> and we were like looking around we're like where is this place? We couldn't find it. And I honestly this kind of looks like it. But maybe they like changed the name or something. We couldn't find it. So we were like looking up like where it is and on Yelp the last person that wrote about it was it was seven years ago. So we were like, oh it's definitely like not here anymore. So, but we found this really cute crepe place. It has like gelato and crepes and like desserts. I'll show you guys. Is that a Nutella? Is that a Yeah, look. It's hazelnut gelato. Gretchen loves this one. It's actually really good. Okay. Look at all of them all stacked up like that. It looks so cool. Food. Corns. After trying literally three flavors, got like four of the gelato, I finally got the Oreo and it's so good. And then we both got Nutella crepes. And you got um, hazelnut, right? Yes. Yeah, Gretchen got hazelnut, which has been like a vibe lately. But this is so good, I literally can't wait to eat this. And we're back at the Gucci Garden, which is like, the museum, <laughs> the Gucci museum. You guys would have seen this in yesterday's vlog. Like a little bit of the bottom floor, but we haven't been upstairs yet, which we're gonna go upstairs right now. Oh my God, it's literally so cool. So we got our tickets and they also gave us this map on the back. So I guess like this is where everything is. This is so cool. I'll obviously show you guys around everywhere once we give our tickets to this guy. We just got done in the museum. I wasn't really talking that much because I didn't want to disturb all the other people, but look how cool this Gucci garden 
like items are. Look how cool they are. This is so cool. And I put this phone case on my phone and I kind of want to get it, but I don't know if you can get it. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> That's me. That even looks skinny, sort of. <laughs> Gretchen's like obsessing over these chickpeas in these bowls. She I wants to like Instagram them. I'm gonna start making but, this. It's wait. chickpeas, olive oil, and like basil. Yeah, I was no, gonna say, this is actually really good. They give us chickpeas Parsley. with like a tiny bit of olive oil as like our appetizer, I guess instead of bread, and it's actually really good. I was like looking at it like, why would they do that? But it's super simple and yummy. Mm. I got fusilli with oil and garlic and some red pepper. And then Gretchen got that one, which I wish I had that one, and you wish you had this one. <laughs> Should we share? Yeah, let's share. But obviously the camera eats first. <laughs> no, literally us on this whole trip, we like take photos of everything. And our waitress is getting us fresh ground cheese to put on it. I just ordered dessert because uh, we're like, okay, if we're in Italy, like we need to try everything we can because when are we going to be back here? And like they had a cannoli and I feel like we should just like try it because I think like it's not the same as, at, as it is at home. And also we got these little tart things that I'll show you guys, which they should be getting soon because I see our, oh, that girl's wearing a really cute jumpsuit. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, that's hers. And that's Gretchen's little Nutella thing. Thank you. And then I got apricot. Thank you. Thank you. I'm excited to try this. We whole time we've been here. Is that orange, you think? I think so. And we asked our waitress what her favorite thing was on the dessert menu, and it was this. But she likes the Nutella one. I got apricot, and Gretchen got Nutella. You're like obsessed with Nutella, I feel like. I am. And I like apricot because this is what was in my cannoli. I mean, my... Uh, Wait, what was that thing called? Not a cannoli, not a crepe. Croissant. My croissant on the first day. So I guess the cannolis are more like frosting than they are in America. Or like taste like frosting more. <laughs> Even that's what Gretchen said. I'm gonna take a piece of it. And like, so you know they're made out of ricotta cheese. Yeah. now I love how they have this Ferris wheel right next to the arch I wish I could take a boomerang on my phone but my phone's about to die it's on one we need to try to get back to the hotel mm. um, but if you guys want to know what Gretchen and I do at night and why we stay up till 3 in the You're morning at it. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally why because I just uploaded my new vlog from yesterday and now I'm gonna edit this vlog and try to get it done, but I'm gonna um, do some of it tomorrow on the bus because we have a long bus ride to Rome. But look what time it is. 12.09 a.m. Uh, and it's so hard to like upload videos because we literally have to use the hotspot on our phones because there's such bad Wi-Fi. Wi but I just wanted to end off the vlog if my camera's ever gonna focus on my face. Okay, but I'm gonna end off the vlog. Um, Gretchen and I actually packed up tonight for tomorrow. I'm so proud. Yeah, me too, because the last time we had to pack up, we didn't do it until the morning. I mean, it took us so long, and it was just a mess up. So, um, we packed up tonight, which is good, but I'm very hungry, so I really want to try to, like, go get a snack or me something. Too. And I'm also, like, losing eyelash extension, so I just made an appointment today at Wink. Um, but I'm going to end off the vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and we will see you tomorrow.